Now then, you join us for another instalment of a steam rally. This one being Driffield. As you can see, there's my brother Road in Series 2 and Charlotte behind him on Series 1. So it's just a few video clips of us going to the steam rally while we're at the steam rally, seeing a few things. And then on the way back, we catch up with Mark Angus and his newly built Foster Wellington steam engine going up in here, which sounds brilliant. So you've got parked up then, Andrew. It's a Messi Harris pacemaker. Oh, is it a Messi Harris pony? No, it's a pacemaker. Pace I don't even know about that. David Woodcox. Is it? He has that fresh machine. That's what is it? Petrol paraffin. Petrol paraffin. Two tanks there. Look. How old is it then? Oh, I don't know. Messi Harris binder. So the weekend after Driftfield, we went down to. Cooper's Vintage Working Weekend and you can see this thing actually running. Sadly it's not behind the Massey, the Massey Harris uh, pacemaker, it's behind uh, the Massey Ferguson 135. It would look great behind that tractor. Well, that's nice is that Andrew? Sunshine farm machinery and tractors. Sunshine. Oh. Lubricate only with good quality fluid greases. Nice condition, is that in it? Lubricate here. It is very nice condition, Andrew. That is nice. It's a tiny combine, isn't it, Andrew? What is it, a five foot header, do you think? Could be six foot, but I didn't think I'd fit in it. You'll be all right, guy. I don't think I'll even manage that. <laughs>
When does it sort of start coming to life? Never. <laughs> Back, Zoe. It's linked in with the hydraulics at the back as the front toolbar. It's nice, isn't it? That's different. Is this what you fancy, Andrew? Yeah, I do. Little W4? Yeah, and, and the W6. We've got a BWD6 that's near enough, innit? Ah, it's not. <laughs> so I've just, got, just looked at serial number so I can get what age it is later. What do you need to push pull bracket at front, Andrew? It's got quite a few of them tappings on, hasn't it? Wonder where he puts handle. It's got blind on, Andrew. Look, hasn't it? Blind winder on. Handle at this side. Is it? Yeah. Oh, a little push stop. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a few more things on it there, like uh, thing for pulleys there. What's that thing do? That? Yeah. Sure. Oh, is it? Yeah. With it being small, the traps I suppose won't be as much, but it's got a nice little hand power thing at top, hasn't it? Would it originally have had a battery or not? I wonder what that thing's for as well. Start, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. Would that be original or not, that? No, oh, I don't know. Could be. It's got obviously all for a start and all, huh? Yeah. Only if W9 does. Probably do. No, this is a H's Andrew Pash base. It does look a bit different, doesn't it? But it's it's a British one because it's behind. To that, Andrew, that looks a better idea. He's put choke cleaver near it swinging handle so he can quickly get on to swap choke. That's quite a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. And if it's a, uh, what is it, 4952? So I would say it's quite an early one. There, there's a plate. Yeah. What plate's that? Oh, oh that's for starter. Yeah, there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll take notice of them then. Obviously, I'll remember I'll have one of them. Yeah. Looks like it's got petrol in ready to go. <laughs> Is it a super major or a plowmaster? <laughs> mm. I think it's a plowmaster, but I don't know. <laughs>
I've got his fingers mucked there, eh?